They are actually very different uh, concepts because uh, in Kenya really what we have is what we call fair dealing. <coughs> and um, what Americans use is called uh, fair use. Uh, the concepts are different. So in, in the case of uh, fair dealing, there is a um, uh, fair dealing first or fair use, whichever term somebody uses, means that is actually the rights that the public has for the use of our work. Uh, because uh, IP, intellectual property, which includes copyright, is a balance. There is a, the rights that we give for that person for a long time. And there are, in return, there are certain rights that they cede to the state or to the public. Uh, so this balance in, in terms of copyright is we have the rights that belong to the author uh, and then we have the rights that belong to the public. So the fair dealing is a list of uh, the extent that the public can use works for free. And in a fair dealing uh, uh, framework, the, the list is limited to the ones that are on the act usually it's section 26 in our case. For Americans, they are, uh, they, Americans give an indicative uh, list that is always subject to litigation and uh, judicial interpretation, and they call it fair use. So uh, Americans uh, rely mainly on the judicial interpretation, we rely mainly on the, on the, on, on, on the terms of the act, uh, so that, that is the distinction. So in the, in your case, uh, in, the, in our fair dealing provisions, we have pro tried to protect use by educational institutions of a certain nature. That means uh, educational institutions that are registered under Education Act, under the Universities Act, uh, yeah, that are, you know, then archives, libraries to a certain limit. So we have listed every use and stated how much they can use for free. So it's actually what the fair dealing provision for Kenya does, it says a paragraph. You can use a paragraph. Yeah. In music, sometimes uh, you, you, the sample must be very small compared to the whole. Uh, you don't want to create a song that when people listen, they think of the first one. Uh, you have to create a distinction. Uh, so, so in our case, we are looking at it. In, uh, we, our, um, our system is a bit narrow. And uh, that is the next uh, area we are tackling to ensure that the public user rights are expanded, well defined, and uh, well safeguarded for the purposes of the Kenyan public. At the moment, we have, we have quite a narrow uh, strip of rights. So, it's uh, in the internet is a big challenge. Uh, because uh, people always want to uh, use the copyright strike and take down, then you find it on YouTube mainly. So it's very, you have to be very, very careful uh, as to the amount you use. Uh, sometimes it's just, if it's for educational purposes, sometimes the question would arise for educational purposes, are you getting a fee? If you are getting a fee, then are you in the category that that has been mentioned within the law? Then if it isn't, then you have to pay, you have to bring down, or you have to avoid. <laughs> in many instances, uh, people really try to avoid. You create your own stuff to illustrate points, because the uh, internet is also not Kenya. So, so this work will be in America, where the, the framework is different. It will be seen in the UK, where the framework is different. And if the author is in the UK, he, his perspective is 
guided by the UK legislation or the US legislation. So you have to be very careful on the internet because it's a global platform.